gefreut. Sitting up for a video. Ah, gotta get it going. Sitting up for a video. Ah, gotta get it going. Sitting up for a video. Ah, gotta get it going. That's probably gonna get cut out. Let's we'll get it. <laughs> Stay. Are we good? Are we good? Are... What's up, guys? It's Sincerely here, and I'm back for another video after almost a month since my last video. Um, you know, it's been hectic, it's been crazy, you know, dealing with the pandemic and moving and not having energy to film anything. I mean, what else is new? I tried to film this with my back camera, but it wasn't cooperating. So if the quality is due, blame the camera, not me. In this video, I'm just gonna hop right into it. I'm gonna be doing an update on my gauges or how I take care of my gauges. I know nobody asks for it, but it's gauge related. It seems like people come to my channel to watch stuff for gauges because my previous gauge video has almost 900 views, so I'm like, I guess I'm gonna do more videos on gauges, you know what I'm saying? Update, and I got a scar. I'm like, my skin looking kind of bad. My hair looking kind of skater boy-ish, but when you're natural, it's like, what else, what else can you do with it? You, you feel me? What else can you do with it? This took me like a day and a half to do. So it's kind of, it's whatever, it's whatever. We're not here for my hair, we're here for my gauges. I've had these in for a few months. Now, well, since the last video of me stretching my gauges, you know, I added some accessories. All right, I'm gonna buy it on because my hair was getting in the way. But this video is gonna be nice and short and sweet. It's just me showing you how I take care of my gauges, where they are right now, and how they doing. So, if you ready for that, Let's get into it. I guess I guess I'll just I'll start with this here. So you know this one, I'm gonna take it out. Take it out. I usually clean my gauges. I think I said it before, I clean them every time I take a shower. That smell, it's like I, I Unless you have gauges, you won't really be able to understand the way that stuff smells when you're ear stretchy. But it's healed. Someone told me, I think in my last video, that I had a um, mini blowout. I didn't know that because I just thought a blowout was just when, you know, that part of your like pushes to the back and it's like all oh, fat stuff. I didn't, I didn't know I had a mini blowout. So thank you. I don't remember your name. I'll find my screenshot, your comment, and put it right right there or something like that. But thank you to you for letting me know. Um, and to all the people who give me tips in the video on how to stretch and make it easier, like putting tape in at an angle and stuff like that, thank you guys so much, cause I was trying, this is my, is this, yeah, this is my bad ear. This one, this baby just, I don't wanna cooperate. But what I usually do, I take the gauges out or take the tunnels out and I get a wipe or a washcloth, put some soap on it, some, I'll say Dove soap, something like that. Oh, whatever. And then I just put on both sides and just gently, don't tug, don't pull, just gently and just rub it around the hole like that. You ain't do it about a few couple times. You know, wipe the front, wipe the back, make sure the hole is nice and clean. Like that's what it, you guys see that? Hope you guys can see that. So I guess that's what a mini blowout looks like. Then I get after, make sure it don't stink. Okay, we good. Then I get the tunnel and then I'll take it and just wipe it off and get all that gunk off. That stank and stuff, that nasty the smell and stuff. Gotta check it. And then the little part that goes on the back of the tunnel, I also I also clean that part off too. 
you know, see what I'm doing. Just clean around it, make sure all that gunk is also off. And since I have other piercings, I might as well show you how I do the rest. Since I have other piercings, um, I do the same thing except I don't take them out. Just get a wipe, squish it around the base of the piercing, the actual piercing, and you know, my ear, the, the ear hole. So clean that off too. Because these ears, these ears, these piercings, my second piercing are also semi or semi stretched. I would say because I put in a plug in those to allow the earring to fit through. So, and also clean my industrial. Now my industrial, I don't know what the freak happened, but my industrial has these little, can you guys see that, little bubbles right there? It has that. I think that's from when I was healing and I was supposed to sleep on it, but I slept on it anyway. So it created that. I got rid of them the first time because it's happened to me twice. I got rid of them the first time. This time I'm having a little trouble getting rid of them. But when I clean this one, I usually take it out, clean the bar, clean my ear, the whole, that part of my ear. I just don't feel like doing that right now. I take it, go to the other side, do the same to these piercings. Now for my nose, piercings i clean those all the time it's like after i brush my teeth and i blow my nose or whatever like that i always clean those so those baby stay clean yerd 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 clean them suckers off and then that's oh gotta put it back in so usually oh still stink just making sure everything's off making sure everything clean a clean me out the ground everybody want to see me that's why i shouldn't quit my day job if i had one <laughs> after i clean it make sure it's nice and clean it's like yeah i just want to be extra today extra extra read all about it all right all right so it's all clean smelling good and i just put i just put it back in put them back in now now, now, usually, usually I have, well, I have some cream stuff to put into my ears, but I don't have it with me at the moment. So, why well, I thought my ear was bleeding, but usually, you know, I have some ear stuff to put into my ears to make it easier to slip it in, but I don't have it with me at the moment. So, I just gotta thug it out. You can put some Vaseline on it if you want to, or... I guess I, I don't want to give any bad advice and people are like, oh my gosh, you mean my ear? <laughs> Look it up. Just research. There you go. Research. You'll figure it out. Now, for this ear. Now, this ear, I wouldn't say it gives me problems when it comes to cleaning simply because I have this in. And I tried to avoid taking that out because I take this out and putting it back in is such a headache. Like, I can't even explain to you how annoying it is. Uh, I think, should I do it for the video? Should I do it for y'all? No, I know y'all like that. <laughs> Kidding. I really don't want to take it out. I really don't want to take I really, 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 really don't want to take it out. Screw it. We thugs around here. We thugs around these parks. Ew. Oh, well, it just made the pup. Never mind. I guess I'm gonna be taking that out. It just, it just, it just made the tunnel come out. So, see how my junk hanging. So I do the same thing. It's the same routine for this one. Wipe the hole. Cleanse the hole. Marinate the hole. Go ahead and clean it. It's, it's fairly the same. It's easy because it's just I was not even looking at the camera. I was looking at why do I. I know what it smells like every time and I still do it, but I clean these, uh, I try to clean them every day, but for the most part, if I clean them uh, once, let's say like I clean them on Monday, they don't start stinking until like Friday or Saturday, so it's like, I always check and make sure they don't smell um, the best that I can, but I'm gonna show you guys what comes off. It might be gross, but you see that? I don't know what you... Is it gonna focus on it and not my face? I don't know what you call that. Ear cheese, I guess. 
kind of the ear tights, the ear tights, but that's what comes off them. If you have gauges, you know, unless I'm doing something wrong and mine just looks not right, but I, I'm guessing because everyone's body is different, your body reacts to things differently. So what comes off of my ears might not come off of yours. So do the same thing, make sure the taper, make sure the taper is nice and clean or the tunnel, I keep saying the wrong name. Make sure the tunnel is nice and clean. All right, it don't stink. It don't smell like nothing. Make sure. Okay, we in there like swimmer. We in there like swimmer. Just take. So, how you guys doing? You guys doing good? Hope you guys are staying safe during the pandemic. Staying indoors as best as you can. Um, Sorry, my boyfriend texted me and I had to, that's what's not the plan. Hope you guys are staying safe. You know, just because you're sick of it doesn't mean it's over. You know what I mean? Stay inside as best as you can, um, unless you can't, but you should for the safety of everyone else and yourself. Um, Cause you might have it, might not know you have it. I'm just gonna change the subject. And once I have this back, I'm just gonna put the little round thing on the back, on the back. On the on the bed on the bed on the bed on the bed did I do it? No, I didn't. What? All right. I don't. It smells. It doesn't. It's not like a smell that's like. <laughs> It smells kind of like a. So I got them clean. They're in, and they look really big. Like I like the way this size look. And for anyone who might want to ask or is wondering, am I gonna size up? I don't know. Maybe in the future. Maybe never. Um, I don't know because, you know, I got people's opinions, and, you know, I like them. I. Honestly, want to go probably one or two sizes bigger, but nothing too big. Where it's like hanging on my ear, I don't want to do that. But I have my boyfriend, and he said these are they're cute like this. So I'm like, okay, that's one opinion. And then I asked myself, and I said, you know, they are cute. Um, and the thing is, like, do I feel like going through having to deal with the pain of this ear of trying to squeeze the taper in and not going in and having to wait and all that extra stuff and having to order more or find more tapers for the next size and then order them it takes like five months to get here do i feel like doing that and the answer is maybe i don't know but i told you guys this video is gonna be nice and short just me cleaning my tapers well i don't for these ones i do like this for this one nothing really gargle and i gargle some mouthwash for the inside um for these like i said this it's just something like this is nothing really that I do with my face ones because those are the ones that are easier to clean, doesn't take as much time to clean as the rest of my piercings. And braces, my gaps are getting bigger because I haven't been able to go to orthodontist in like six months because of the pandemic. But you know, we a thug out here. You know what I'm saying? I thought braces were supposed to help. Nice. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, it was short. If you have any suggestions or more things you want to see that I do in my life, whatever, let me know down in the comments below. Um, more videos are coming. Um, the next one when the film has to do with food. So if you guys like food and ramen, if you guys like food and ramen, make sure you stay tuned for that. Um, anyone who's watching my videos and haven't subscribed, why aren't you subscribed yet? You might as well subscribe because you like me because you watch my videos. You know what I'm saying? And the people who have subscribed since I've been gone, hey, welcome. I'm sincere. Thank you so much for giving me. Am I annual subscribers? Almost long subscribers. Thank you guys so much. Um, trust me, more videos are coming. It's just a slow run. You know, I got things to do. I'm busy. Um, not really, but I'm trying to get these videos out to you guys. And sometimes I don't really have time to record because there's always people around. They're always loud. My siblings always need something, so I don't always have time to record. So forgive me for that. But videos are coming. I love you guys so much. And yes, this is farewell for another.
six to eight months. <laughs> I love you guys so much. And until next time, Cecilia Nation. But what I say, ladybugs, butterflies. I always forget every time. Peace out. Until next video. I'm gonna try to get it out to you guys like in a week, maybe. But I gotta film it. And if you if you you know. Alright guys. Bye. Okay, I'm gone. Bye.